All right. Hello, my name is Timur. Um, I did a talk last year about, um, does this work? Yes, it does. I did a talk last year about um, lambdas, called Cetus as Lambda Indiums. Has anybody here seen it? A couple of people. Okay, so I um, talked for about an hour about how lambdas work, and I kind of thought that I figured it out at the point when I gave this talk, but it turned out this is C++, so I really, really still have no idea how this works. So last month at C++ Now, um, Fyodor came to me and said, hey, what does this code do? This is just a simple lambda. Can you just explain this to me? And I was like, what? And it turns out I really still don't understand lambdas at all. Um, I hope you're better than me. Um, let's see. Um, does this code compile? No. Why not? It doesn't compile. Right. So, right? Const, okay. So, what do you need to do to fix it? Mutable, okay, you, you all know this stuff, great. So, does this compile? Does, yes, it does compile. Okay, let's, let's make it more difficult. I'm gonna make this in const. Is this going to compile? Who says yes? Okay, who says no? <laughs> it's not gonna compile. <laughs> I did not know this. <laughs> um, okay, how do you fix it? Like that, is that going to compile? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I had no idea what was going on there. Uh, so I tried to figure it out by looking at the standard. Um, so, I mean, this bit is kind of okay. Um, it says that, okay, if you have a lambda, it creates this uh, uh, kind of uh, closure type, and then it has a non-static, sorry, uh, yeah, non-static member function, which is this uh, operator call operator, and that's going to be implicitly const, right? And then it says, Basically what it does is that it creates this uh, operator, and then the other thing that it says is that um, how, how closures work, right? So if you capture a uh, variable by value, it's gonna create this private member here, right? And then that's const, and so that's not gonna compile because you can't modify a member, func uh, member variable in a, in a const function, right? And so if you put mutable on there, then the call operator is no longer const, and so it works. Okay, so all good. So why does this not work? Okay, now we can again look into the standard. It says that the type of such a data member is the reference type of the entity of um, or the type of the corresponding captured entity otherwise. Okay, that kind of makes sense, although I totally did not know that that was happening, but if you capture uh, a variable by value, even though you're copying it, you know, it's still gonna use the same type, so the member is gonna be const int, the implicit member, and obviously you can't mutate a const member in the call operator, even if the call operator is not const. Okay, so that makes sense. But what is going on here? And so I was looking at the standard, I couldn't figure it out, showed it to somebody else, they couldn't figure it out, and there was like a bunch of us at CSS now last month just staring at the wording and it just didn't make any sense. It says, well, an init capture without ellipsis behaves that if it declares and implicitly captures, explicitly captures a variable of the form auto init capture semicolon, except that if the capture is by copy, which is what we're doing here, uh, blah, 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 and no, Actual copy and destruction is performed? Wait, so we're co capturing by copy, but there's no copy? Like what? <laughs> that did, did not make any sense to me at all. Um, and so I looked at it again and again and again, still couldn't figure out, and then I found Richard Smith, and he actually explained to me what was going on. So this uh, auto uh, init capture uh, semicolon thing, as if it declares a variable of the form auto and it captures semicolon means that it is as if it declares this kind of thing, and th there's a red end now because it's a different end from the black end, right? Um, and then it implicitly captures it 
oh, sorry, XST captures a value, which is like the usual mechanism you, you create, like a you know a variable there, a member variable there. And then this uh, no actual copy is performed refers to basically this copy, which isn't an actual copy. So, so this N here is actually just a name that's referring to the red N. Yes, and time is up, so we figured it out. We're good. Thank you.